Hello everyone, this is Suman from DNA Bioscience. Today we are going to discuss about the last type of hypersensitivity reaction that is the type 4. First of all, let us look into the points which are important. So the first point is in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, no antibodies are involved. That means it is a cell mediated process. It consists of only cells in so the type 1, type 2 and the type 3 hypersensitivity reaction in all those antibodies are involved. But in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, no antibodies are involved. Only the cells such as the CD4 plus cells, TH1 cells, CD8 plus cells, macrophages which are called the antigen presenting cell. It is also called delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction because it takes one or two days to develop the immune response inside the body. Next is haptane. What is a haptane? Haptane you can say it is similar to antigen but there is one difference only. It is also an immunogenic molecule just like antigen but it develops immune response if it is conjugated with a carrier protein. So antigen does not require any carrier protein but haptane is an immunogenic molecule which requires the carrier protein which is larger than the size of the haptane. After it conjugated with the carrier protein then the haptane behaves like an antigen and can induce the immune response. The example of uh, carrier protein is in case of poison ivy, the urocl is a haptane protein. These are small molecules when they combine with the say the skin proteins. The skin proteins they behave like a antigen. So let's discuss the mechanism. This is the poison ivy plant. In the leaf, a toxic substance is present that is called urocl. It is a kind of haptane uh, which is very small in size. When a person comes in contact with the leaf which contain the urocell, they form the haptane and protein conjugate and that behaves like an antigen. So this is the allergen molecule after the conjugation of haptane and the skin protein. It is then formed the allergen molecule or antigen molecule. Then the antigen presenting cell what is antigen presenting cell? Antigen presenting cell is a kind of cell which represent the antigens. So the antigen presenting cell in this case in the macrophage so and it engulfs the uh, allergen molecule and it represent the allergen molecule by a class 2 MSC protein. What is class 2 MSC protein? Class 2 MSC protein is a kind of surface protein generally found in the T helper cells. First, in the leaf, the toxic substance urocell combined with the skin protein. When a person get in touch with the leaf, then they, uh, they form the allergen molecule and the allergen molecule is engulfed by a antigen presenting cell in this case the macrophage and it represent in the surface by the help of a MSC class 2 protein. What happens then? The CT4 cells which is a glycoprotein generally found in the surface of the T helper cell. It then combined with the, the T helper cell combined with the MSC class 2 protein. Then they activate the CD4 plus TH1 cell and they release the cytokines. The cytokine which is secreted is interleukin R and interferon gamma. So then they then they cause the delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Then the inflammation occur after one or two days and it damages the tissue. So this is mechanism delay type hypersensitivity reaction. Let me discuss once again. This is a Poison Abbey plant, it contains urocell haptane which is small in size. When a person gets in contact with the urocell haptane, it forms a conjugate and behaves like an antigen. Then the antigen is engulfed by the macrophage which is the antigen presenting cell and the macrophage they represent the antigen in the surface by the class 2 MSC protein. Then the T helper cell gets combined with the class 2 MSC protein with the CD4 
plus glycoproteins and they release the cytokines which result in the delayed hypersensitivity response. After one or two days, you can get the inflammation and that results in the tissue damage. The next mechanism is T cell mediated cytolysis. Cytolysis means the cell lysis. In this case, the CD8 plus cell combines with the T cell. The CD8 then binds with the MAC1 with bound peptide and they form the cell lysis and tissue damage. So, let's summarize the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. In this type of reaction, no antibodies are involved. Only the cells are involved, that is CD4, T helper cells, CD8, macrophages. It is called delay type of hypersensitivity reaction because it takes one or two days to develop the immune response. The haptin is an immunogenic molecule just like antigen, but it is developed only when a carrier protein is conjugated with it. An example is in case of poison abbey, this is the uroseal which acts as a haptin and the mechanism which involves the uroseal gets attached to the skin protein and form an allergen which works like an antigen. Then the macrophages which is a antigen presenting cell, it engulfs the antigens and they represent the antigens in the surface by class 2 MSC proteins. Then the T helper cell with the CT4 glycoprotein attached to the uh, MS, class 2 MSC protein and they release the cytokine which result in delayed hypersensitivity reaction and tissue demands. The second type is T-cell mediated cytolysis. It does not involve the release of cytokines. In this case, by the same way, the macrophage engulfs the antigen and then it presents the antigen in the class 1 MSC molecule. Then the CT8 protein with the T-cell receptor, they combine with the MSC class 1 protein. PCR is T-cell receptor. The receptor or you can say a set of integral proteins that activate the T-cells. It leads to the cell lysis and tissues MS. So that's all for now. I hope it will help you. Thank you.